All right, guys, welcome back to the Gateway Channel, man. It's your boy Big Drizzy back with you once again. Today, we are chilling with a new, brand new, out the box electric scooter from the Titans over at Cabo. Great value, bang for your buck scooter. I'm going to let you know right now if you're looking for a commuter scooter, something that's good on power, good on distance, fairly light to pick up and transport something that has a lot of bang for your buck a lot of uh, useful features for commuters and electric scooter lovers all right this is the Cabo Mantis King GT all right great scooter great great scooter very similar to my ghost first generation in terms of the swing arm and just the power output all right, this is not going to be a super hyper scooter. This is going to be a commuter scooter, something that does have some pop, can get you up to about 40 miles per hour, depending on your weight, uh, but has very good power distribution, even though you do have that extra pop and power. All right, five modes, five speed modes on this uh, scooter, which are controlled by a freaking screen man okay a screen on the scooter giving you a readout of everything you need distance all right the trips you travel your speed your miles per hour that can be in kilometers the gears right they go up all the way to five you do have dual motor and you have single motor modes all right you have the time Come on, man. You have the voltage is there, the battery. I rode yesterday uh, 100%, rode about 8 miles, and it went down like 10%. Really seems to be really good battery management, right? We, this is a Samsung cell inside. They let you know. All right. This is just an awesome scooter. Look at this. You have two charge ports, but look at this. They're like the outdoor plugs. These are like the, the covers from the outdoor plugs you have outside, like in your backyard. How cool is that? They're like spring-loaded, right? So they're gonna stay down, wind or anything. Sometimes, you know, with the plastic ones, they fall off. You have to keep putting them back on. These are awesome. And this comes with two chargers, guys. Two chargers, all right? So we're looking about around seven hours charge time with both of those babies plugged in. Nice cloth here to wrap, nice and neat to wrap all the wires. Like to see that this is a lot cleaner. Uh, scooter manufacturers, uh, this is a lot cleaner than the plastic uh, on the wire. All right, around the wire. Look at the deck, nice and rubberized. You have some swag lighting down here. Oh my God, I'm gonna show you a video of the swag lighting in a minute. Stay tuned for that. You have a little red knob on top of your springs now. Me coming from a mountain bike background, very familiar with these knobs. These red knobs are rebound knobs, so they're gonna control the force of the spring coming back after you've compressed it, and then now when it's gonna rebound and come back, that knob will make that comeback or that rebound faster or slower depending on how you like it and where you're gonna ride uh, the scooter. This flaps around and hits the tire, all right? So you're gonna, you know, guys, you're gonna need something maybe here to anchor it. Very nice wheels, 1100 watt motors, front and back, dual motors, motors in the front and the back. Peak output is about 44, 4600 um, RPM. All right, and look at this. Great folding mechanism here. Okay, open that up, twist it, pull that open, unlatch it from there, and you fold down the stem easy breezy. You have a connection here to connect it. I fo folded it up yesterday, put it in the car. It was nice and tight, nothing moved around. It was so easy. All right, this is what you want from a commuter scooter, guys. You want a scooter that is Okay, it looks good, but not maybe a lot of guys care about that. I do, but it's light, it's manageable. God forbid you get a flat 
and you can carry this folded up and carry it on a bus on a train up some stairs um, if you have to hike it a little bit OD but I don't know if these are ODs but these are lock-on grips right we do that in the mountain bike community you have lights you have turn signals you have your horn power button is behind here right a lot of and so here here is where you're gonna turn the scooter on so you're just gonna press that and hold it all right when you if you want to get into the P settings when you first turn on the scooter within the first 20 seconds you're gonna have to hold down the M you're gonna have to hold down this M to get into P settings and it, and what makes the screen so nice is that now when you go into the P settings you have everything here all right, let's see if we can do it. Let's, let's shut it off, hold it down. And you're gonna have everything. Hold it down again. All right, we turn it on. Nice little screen, the light in the front comes on and then you're gonna hold down the M. Oh, I have mine uh, registered already. You can't see my password. <laughs> right, so to, do, to punch in the numbers, you gotta push the up. M, up, M, up, M, up, M. All right, and let me see if it'll go into, okay, so now we're, in the, now we're in the P settings, all right? And you have everything there. You have everything there, and you can just use the button up here to just go down and go into whatever it is that you want to, and as soon as you get to, as soon as you highlight what you want, you're gonna press the M, we wanna exit and you come right back out to the screen. All right, thumb throttle, all right? There is that little dead zone in the front, right? It starts to really pop right underneath the handlebar, right before it gets to underneath the handlebar. Um, but, you know, something a little, that's something very minor in comparison to the overall attributes of the scooter, which I think are, this is about an A. All right, the only thing that I would improve with the scooter is, of course, the fender. I would give it a little bit more speed, uh, but by, you know, it's quick. It's still gonna be quick for about 90% of the people out there. Unless you're a speed demon, you know, 40, 50, 60 mile an hour speed demon, this is not gonna be a cup of tea. You wanna save a few dollars, don't have to take the bus and the train to work, have a nice experience, not being stressed out by delayed trains and buses going to work into a point uh, into appointments looking to getting yourself a scooter familiarizing yourself with it getting out and practicing so that you can have a just a great emotional experience out on the road enjoying the sun enjoying the sights and the people enjoying the exhilaration of a super smooth uh, you know super fast uh, scooter for most people. So I just wanted to give you guys my impressions of this. I am keeping it. There was a 10 mile. You had to stay under 10 miles if you did want to return it. I'm well over that already. Loving, loving, loving it. It does come, this is the gold. It does come in the black, uh, but it, it's a really, really nice scooter. I recommend it to anybody looking for a new scooter, a commuter scooter, um, just a, a scooter where you don't really have to buy much after you don't have to buy any lights you have your light right here all right which you can easily bend up all right you can bend it down a little bit all right and then you have you have the swag lighting on the side man. come on man come on man i'm gonna show you the video of this at night in a minute Ooh, all right baby late night swag coming from the brand new Cabo Mantis King GT man this is really a hell of a beautiful scooter um, a scooter that you really got to see in person to really appreciate love the fuck Ooh, I'm about to curse on the channel love the swag lighting um, I think on one of the reviews that I I watched, they said that you could switch to like a di like a hundred different color or, and or patterns um, with this, which is so cool. All right. 
Got your swag lighting. This is how she's gonna look at night. Let's take something from the front. Right? Yeah. There we go. Alright. And then you can see the other side. Which is got this too. Let's see if we do a little wide angle and zoom out. Alright. You have brake lights. And turn signals. Alright, so let's turn on the turn signals. Alright, left side here. Alright, turn signals in the front and the back. So traffic in front of you can see that you want to turn, and behind you can see that you want to turn. You just click it again to turn it off, and then the right side. Alright, and this is how it looks in the front all right great great commuter scooter i don't know if you can see it with the lights all right very impressed with the overall uh scooter the ride all of the um you know the features uh they give you some semi knobby tires which are nice you have fenders Scooter looks good with the gold, totally uh, bright and visible at night. You, are, you, you basically have everything that you need with this scooter if you want to commute to work, you want to commute to the gym, you want to run errands, you just want to have some fun with a scooter. This is something that will not break the bank. It's not super heavy at 70 pounds. When you look at the grand scheme of things and all the scooters out, have some that weigh well over 100 pounds um, and this is just a great scooter 265 is the weight limit um, and I gotta say today is my first day riding the scooter very good battery management rode it about 10 miles um, and still had about 90% 88% uh, battery so it was uh, it was a good day. So I just want to show you this is how it's gonna look, how the lights look at night from the Cabo Mantis G or Cabo Mantis King GT. All right, it's a hell of a scooter. If you're thinking of buying a scooter like this to commute to work, I would definitely say it's a go. All right, I'm gonna give you some more information on the scooter, and here's some day day shots and day rides. Enjoy. been the official first long distance run with the Cabo Mantis King GT. Alright, well 
welcome back. We're gonna give you some on the road ride impressions from the Cabo Mantis King GT. I gotta tell you, initial impressions right off the bat, extremely favorable. The platform reminds me a lot like the Apollo Ghost that I started on a couple years back. Although this is equipped with a lot more uh, but the ride and the way they set up the springs and the positioning is very similar but you have hydraulic suspension front and back you have rebound suspension front and back and you have some very very good brakes that are grabby they aren't mushy All right and I'm going to tell you right now Get out of the way of traffic or people or cars. You're gonna to want to keep this baby in dual motor. And the fourth, and the fourth or fifth gear. All right, that's where the real speed is. I'm not even sure why they have gears one, two, and three. Um, you know, the difference between one, two, and three is so like so similar almost. But that makes them all so good because if you have somebody who's serious about scooters and they want their game on the scooter to progress and they want to get better on the scooter, it's actually good because then they can start out with like a little baby step and whoop, whoop, whoop. they can start up with little baby steps and then they can gradually get to 30 or 40 miles per hour. I'm going to tell you right now, don't try to do it. Don't try to do it. Don't try to do it right off the bat. Crawl before you ball. Get to know your scooter. All right? Learn how to turn, learn how to brake, especially in emergency situations. All right? Always play, kind of play with the brakes a little bit. Uh, but yeah, definitely favorable, man. A little bit wider tires. They have a little bit of knobbies on them, so you can take them on like maybe some single track um, or something like that. And uh, yeah, man. And, and the the folding assembly. Oh my God, it's a piece of cake. It's like why have we been struggling all these years? Uh, it's so easy within less than five ten seconds five seconds you can unfold and fold you know it's just it's a really good system a few other players apollo and i think a couple of the people have adopted a similar mechanism um but yeah man, definitely favorable loving the screen loving the metrics on the screen giving me all of my readouts my total miles my current trip miles, the highest speed that I've hit on the scooter, and my average speed, right? Which are all pretty cool metrics to marvel at, right? Um, so what else? Brakes are good, handlebars are good. You're gonna need probably an L-shaped um, hex key to do the, the two top stem bolts because they won't fit. See if I can go on the side with this for a little bit. So I'm not killing you guys with like super jittery video. Alright guys, we're just taking a little ride through the city. On the Cabo Mantis K GT. Alright. Definitely a go for anybody looking for a scooter to commute. Alright, especially if you're in the city. Um, you see all the potholes and crazy roads that we've got to navigate on. This is handling it with a plum. Really is. Alright. We're just kind of cruising down, letting gravity take us, assisting with a, a few little inputs to the throttle. Uh, the throttle is probably the only thing to me that needs to be improved you really got you really got to push it about an inch or so um, or more to really get into the meat of the band 
Uh, I'd like to see it. I'd like to see it more at the very beginning of the throttle band when you're pushing it. But you know, a minor gripe, something you can live with, definitely because everything else on the scooter just works so well and complements it as a whole. You have great suspension. You have great maneuverability and you have turn signals, okay, front and back. So now when I'm stopping this lady, you're gonna see that the lights are blinking. And she's gonna see that, okay, he's probably stopping, right? Look at all these undulations in the road, all right? I don't know how anybody's riding a scooter or commuting and it doesn't have uh, suspension. So definitely a so. Nice scores. Alright. Always look, even if you have the light look. Yeah, man, I think the grips could be a little meatier, have a little bit more cushion on them. But they do have a little flare. As you can see, they do have a little flare to them. And, um,. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. I'm in four, right? In order to hop, hop out in front of oncoming traffic or get out of the way or something, you're gonna need that dual motor. You're gonna need it in four and five. When I first jumped on the scooter, I'm like one, two, three. I put it in three and it, it was moving, but it wasn't moving like that. I'm like, okay. But then you switch, you switch on the dual motor mode, hit the rocket. thing man but definitely a fave favor nothing but i would definitely recommend this scooter i could see myself buying another one of these scooters to tell you the truth uh you know for the family or whatever have one as a backup just in case something goes wrong yeah. stylish it looks good it rides good all right got a nice light on the front you got nice swag lights under the deck, on the deck, on the sides of the deck, it comes with two chargers, right? So you don't have to wait for them to send you a BOGO or go and buy a second charger. You got two right out the back. I'd like to see them, I'd like to see a box, one box as the charger, but they have two plugs, so you don't have to have two rectangular bodies of the of the battery you can have one especially if you've got to travel you know, but luckily today i was able to use two and it, it charged up very fast so they could have to get away with one 